All right, what is going on West Island? I'm Alessandro DeLuca from the West Island News, and I am absolutely honored to be sitting here with Daniel Wasef, three-time Guinness World Record winner. Daniel, how are you, man? I'm fine, and you? Not too bad. I'm super excited to have you here, and I think that people would agree. So uh, just to get started, do you want to tell everyone what you've accomplished, in case they don't know? I accomplished uh, my three world records that I've accomplished was... Uh... Uh, it was difficult, but I, I did like uh, some sort of a toe tapping. I beat the world record for toe taps. Uh, the previous record was 100. I did 151. Then the second record was for the longest time bouncing a football on the toes. The record was one minute. I beat it by one sec, uh, doing one minute and one second. And the third one, I broke it last week, which was the longest time. The longest time. I mean, the lo the the longest distance backwards kick of a football into a basketball hoop. Uh, it was 5.77 meters. So, you know, most people, they, they go their whole lives without winning a Guinness World Record. I mean, I don't think I'll ever win a Guinness World Record, and I think most people would agree with me there. You win one, and that's amazing, but you decide that's not good enough. I'm going to go for another one. Then you win a second one, and you said two weeks later, you win a third one. How, what was the motivation behind that? Motivation behind that was really, it was my own perspective because I'm free. During my free time, I just think of, of something to do and it just only motivates me to do even more. I mean, I want to get a goal of three this year, but in the next years, in the next couple of years, I want to do 10 records in total. So you're not even close to done then. Like this is, you're just, you're just getting started here. Exactly. That's, that's insane. I mean, uh, you know, how there must be a lot of practice that goes into this. How, how do you balance all your time out? Because I know you work and you go to school. Uh, congratulations, you just got into engineering school, if I'm not mistaken, right? That's, yeah. <laughs> so you just got into engineering school. You're practicing all these world records. You're working. How do you balance all that? I balance it by, uh, by dividing it in certain uh, time. Like the, some days I do this, some days I do that, but then if I'm free to do whatever I want in a, in a short amount of period, uh, a short amount of time, I mean, I just go for it. I just uh, do my record at that time. Uh, if I have a couple of hours, maybe. Now, have there been any time management issues throughout your journey or, uh, or no? Say that again, sorry? Have there been any time management issues? Like, have you found that you wanted to practice, but you couldn't, and that's kind of held you back a bit? Uh, that depends. Sometimes, uh, because I go to the, to the uh, Parc Isabelle uh, that's near my home, and uh, that's where I practice, and that's where I do all the magic uh, for my world records. But other than that, I think that's what makes me have more time there. So, you know, in the past year, you've basically become like a local celebrity. I mean, I saw you on the news, you're on CTV, you're on uh, CBC as well, I think. Uh, CTV, yeah. Yeah, C uh, not CBC. CBC, I don't, I don't know, I don't oh, think yeah, so. I you were. But regardless, CTV, that's one of the biggest, one of the biggest news outlets in the in in the country. And you were there, and uh, you were also on a couple of Arabic uh, newspapers as well, right? Yeah. So you know, that's all in the, in the span of a year. How have you managed to kind of stay grounded? You probably go to school, and everyone kind of they're asking for your autograph and stuff. Maybe like, how have you managed to stay grounded through all this? To be honest, I uh, I uh, I use my time be uh, to to take uh, some autographs. Uh, because I think it makes me feel like, you know, more, it gives, it gives me more attention, but it makes me feel like people are starting to believe in themselves more than believing in me, because that's what I want to make them uh, feel, because I've been through a lot in the past, you know, with bullying, with harassment, racism, and all these things that I can name right now, but I'm not going to name them all, but it just just showed that if I achieve this, some you can achieve better and better. And that's all that matters to me is that you believe in yourself more than you believe in others because some people depends on others uh, just to succeed, but that's not the main goal. And I think I think uh, I'm just start getting started with my, my motivational campaign with the Guinness World Records. Now you mentioned you mentioned bullying growing up. Has that had a major impact on who you are today and and your motivation to win all these world records? Indeed, it did uh, because uh, I've been uh, I've been called racist things uh, back then. Uh, it was a difficult time I've had. I even stayed like a lot of years in high school uh, in specialized classes, uh, which which were, they were doing internships 
And these internships lead, led me nowhere. Like I'd rather pursue my studies than doing internships for no reason because my studies are more important than just having a, just a job and just finishing a, a just in a, a fast food restaurant because I currently work at McDonald's, but I'm not going to work at McDonald's my whole life, maybe some certain years, but like, it's not going to be my, my main job for my whole life. And now who else would you credit? If there's a person you credit that motivated you to do this. Who would you credit that to? I'd say my parents and my brother. Uh, yeah, they've they motivated me to to pursue my uh, dreams, uh, and they've uh, uh, they've brought me uh, to to do all these things uh, because they in the beginning they were a little skeptical about the Guinness uh, thing, but when I showed them my confirmation, I told them no, I can do this, and they said okay, I'm gonna believe in you, but just even if you don't get it, don't be sad, just do the right thing, be mature, and everything will be just fine so then when i showed them the confirmation they were like oh okay now i started they were starting to be less skeptical and more um like how do you say this they were starting more believer you know mm, yeah and so how important do you think parent, uh, parental support is when someone's trying to do something big like winning a guinness world record how important it is i'd say it's very important to support your child for every dreams they have but that depends on what it is because some some people have dreams, but like a little, I'm not gonna say exaggerate, but like it's like near, it's not a, not not possible to do. But if like if there's a dream like going to university, getting a PhD, or achieving what I did again, this like to all the parents out there, really believe in your child because if you, if he wants if you feel that your child is not doing well, you still got to believe in him whatsoever. So uh, I know, I'm not sure if any people watching follow you on Instagram, which they should, because you post some great content. But if, uh, in case you don't know, um, you post a lot of stuff on your stories and you ask, you give uh, fan, fan interactions and you ask, you let people ask you questions. How do you believe that has helped your journey? Those, those fan interactions? It helps me a lot because when they ask questions, they ask them for, for a good reason. They, they think that, they whatever they they feel down they have to ask a certain person for for um how do you say this advice for uh, suggestions and stuff so when they feel when they feel down they mostly ask me because they know i'm a motivational person after all so then i answered them quickly and i said i said to them hey listen no pressure just ask me everything and i'll just guide you through but at the same time you must do a part where you got to do the effort to get to your goal. I mean, it's, it's impressive how I got from, from being bullied and being harassed to all the way to a person who, who cares. Even, even those who, who hated me, they started to believe in me. So then I, I, try, I helped them anyway. So again, now that's kind of, you kind of already touched base on this, but you started off, um, like you said, you were bullied and stuff. Now you're a Guinness World Record holder. Uh, now, how how have you really changed, though? How have you changed internally since, you know, the start of high school to now? And how is, what does the Guinness record have to do with that? Well, it made me more mature in a way because, uh, uh, but how you ask is that um, it's just me, myself. I just said myself, uh, it's not, it's not worth uh, fighting for uh, against uh, fighting against people or, or causing them uh, revenge. I mean, revenge is not, it's not, it's never been a solution anyway. Well, I, because I used to be a guy who wants to do revenge, but I was like, no, that's not the mature thing to do. I was like, I got to stop. I got to be mature. I got to be an inspiration to them. I must pray for them to, 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 to believe in me. And that's what I did. I matured. I, I changed my, I changed my mind many times in my life. And I regretted it many times that certain things weren't working out with me. And then I, uh, that's where I decided that I got I to gotta go through. So now not as much of a serious question now, but I got to ask, how have you celebrated? Now, I know with COVID, the lockdown, I said, can't really, you know, can't go to the club or anything, but how have you celebrated uh, your, your achievement? Uh, well, when the pandemic ends, uh, to be honest, because I'm not going to celebrate right now, but when the pandemic ends, I'm going to be doing a parade near the park. Uh, well, actually at the park uh, where I always play soccer. 
I'm going to invite so many people, uh, but it's going to be next year, next summer. I'm um, inviting my friends, my uh, acquaintances, uh, and uh, all the people that are supporting me. Uh, well, some of them, they're, they're invited to the parade, and then they, I'm going to be going to be food, drinks, and I'm going to be celebrating that with a, with a cameraman, and uh, it might be recorded on TV even. Awesome. So uh, I got to just ask right now, um, what's what what does the future have in store for Daniel Wasef? What what are the next records that you want to win? Because when I, I interviewed you back in February and I wrote about you, and uh, you said you would explain to me these were the two that you wanted to uh, you wanted to win, and you finally you finally achieved your goal. So what's the new goal now? New goal now it's to achieve uh, the most football hot steppers in thirty seconds. Uh, Actually, I and- think you did mention that one. I think you did mention that one in February. So that's still um, that's still important. Yeah. Perfect, perfect. All right, man. So um, if there's anything else you want to tell the viewers of West Island, then go ahead. Of course, all the West Island, uh, West Island uh, people, if you ever feel down and if you ever feel like you want to give up, listen closely. Never underestimate yourself because if you, under, if you underestimate yourself, you're underestimating your, your own life which which you can do better you can you can count on yourself uh on uh, on things that you believe in and evaluate the situation correctly yes the life may be hard but that doesn't mean you're weak you're only stronger has your soul and has your mind awesome well thank you daniel this is a great interview and you know i'm so happy for you and i'm i hope you win more re- uh, more records and i think the people of west island would agree you know that your uh, first article got a lot of great feedback so um once again west island i'm alessandro deluca from the west island news daniel wasef from laval it was a uh, great great speaking to you all thank you it's better to meet you too thank you